Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. I do a lot of videos on IT cybersecurity education and career things. In today's video, we're going to be looking at all the bachelor's degrees in IT from Western Governors University and ranking them from most difficult to the easiest ones. I have a lot of different videos about WG on my channel. Like if you don't know what WG is, check out this video in particular, but I have a whole bunch talking about how to accelerate through them and talking about the different ones that I've done. So go ahead and like check those out. A brief overview of what WG is. It's basically an online accredited college you essentially pay for a term at a time. It's anywhere between $3,500 and $4,000. You pay for that term, which is a six month time period. And then you can complete as many courses as you can that time period. And then you just graduate when you're done. So if you pay for one term, which is six months, and then you manage to complete the whole degree in one term, you only pay for like, you know, six months worth of school, which is anywhere from $3,500 to $4,000 again. So that's where this video comes in. We're going to look at each one of the degrees from WG and kind of in order of difficulty. So if you're just trying to get a degree quickly, you'll have a good idea of what like which one you want to get if you want to like strike a balance between marketability and maybe you want some search with it you know you can pick the the easiest one that kind of fits your needs if that makes sense so we'll go ahead and get right into it here so pretty much what we're looking at here I'll, I'll kind of explain this spreadsheet a little bit it looks a little bit confusing but it's not too bad basically these are all the different bachelor's degrees in IT from WGO we have like computer science software dev network operations and security cyber security and internet information assurance, cloud computing, the general IT bachelor's degree, the data management degree, and then the bachelor's of science in IT management. And I just want to say before we get too deep into this, if you're just like thinking about getting into IT and you like don't know which degree to, to get and you're kind of like getting that analysis paralysis going on, in the end, it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much which degree you get. Like you can, for example, get software dev and you can work in cloud computing or you can get the IT management degree and then you can work in cybersecurity. It doesn't really really matter that much like the the degree itself is just like a single slice of the pie you know other slices of the pie include like maybe your certificates or how well you interview or your personal appearance and communication skills like you clean yourself up and practice articulating your words before the interview and uh, any kind of experience you might have in the past or some that you made for yourself and put on your resume like all of these things come into play and a degree is not even really required for IT it's not like a legal requirement for our industry so it doesn't really matter which one you get uh, in my opinion if you're really like confused like I would just recommend getting the one that looks the most enjoyable to you like which one looks the most fun like that you want to do or the one that looks the most interesting and don't get too like wound up on like which one is most marketable or not also one last disclaimer i don't have all of these degrees obviously um i have the i have the computer science degree and then i have the general it degree from wg and I, I have most of this degree as well i only have these two degrees the rest of them i'm just gonna kind of talk about the classes the best i can and give my opinion based off of things that i've read on reddit and and other places uh, so yeah let's go ahead and get right into it and i just wanted to say like all these classes here that are underlined um you it's possible to take this class like outside at the place that's specified in the underline so for example sophia for a project manage for a project plus you can take this course at sophia.org and kind of transfer it in discrete math one you can take it study.com and transfer it in same with just data structures and algorithms one and then computer architecture calculus you can take them outside and kind of transfer them into wgu i'll just say right off the bat i just ordered these uh, from most difficult on the left to absolute easiest one on the right some of these can tie along the way i'll kind of talk about where i think the ties might be as i go through this but i'm just going to kind of go through and explain why each degree is where it is in the kind of difficulty hierarchy that we have here so on the far left oh also i'm going to say like this light blue the cells that are light blue these are just the third party certificates that you'll earn in this degree so a lot of the de degrees from wgu in order to pass some of the classes you'll have to take a, a third party certificate that is like a certificate that's offered by like comptia for example or a certificate that, that's off to, offered by cisco for example or amazon for example you take that certificate and then you'll pass that particular class at wgu so for example, if I, I'll just explain the computer science one. So basically computer science degree is com comprised of these two kind of third party certificates here. This one, this ITIL and this CompTIA project plus, which is offered by CompTIA. And then these kind of red colored ones, these are just classes that are offered from WGU. They're like WGU internal classes, but the ones that are colored in red, um, these are particularly difficult that, that are generally regarded as hard and may contribute to the particular degrees place in the 
hierarchy, if that makes sense. And then all the rest of the courses, I didn't really include those. Maybe these are like average. Anything in here that you, that you see remaining courses, there's a bunch more courses for these degrees, obviously, but these are offered by WGU and they're more average in difficulty. They're, they're useful, you know, and they teach you useful things, but they're just not, maybe not as hard as some of the other ones, like these red colored ones, or they're not as hard as these third party certificates. I included the third party certificates in blue because typically these are more, these are more difficult than the classes offered by WGU, if that makes sense. So diving right into computer science, computer science has only two third party certificates, ITIL and then CompTIA Project Plus, which is you learn project management skills. Project Plus requirement can be also satisfied by taking the project management course from Sophia.org and then diving into the kind of more difficult courses in the computer science. Computer science is in number one, basically because of these courses in red right here. Discrete math one and two. For normal people, discrete math tends to be more difficult because it's a lot of kind of complex topics that people don't usually think about, like complex counting and a lot of probability uh, with discrete numbers and discrete mathematics there's a lot of card counting in both of these classes like what is it what's the probability that you you know someone already drew an ace of spades and both red kings what are your chances of like getting a full house like some crazy like question like this there's a lot of like strange strange questions in discrete math one or two and it takes quite a while for the normal person to learn um, for me personally uh, discrete math two is the most difficult class in this whole program and all of the WGU classes that I've taken. So it's quite hard and it takes a while to wrap your head around uh, getting into software one and two. These aren't these aren't particularly difficult if you already know how to program in, ja in Java pretty well. But if you're like brand new to programming, having to wrap your head around like object oriented programming and all of those fun things that Java has to offer in these courses, it can be pretty hard because not only do you have to learn how to program, but you have to learn how to program in a way that satisfies the really difficult requirements for these two classes. So these take quite a while, especially software two will take you quite a while. And I want to say like none of these are like insurmountable, like nothing that I'm talking about here is insurmountable. So don't get discouraged if you want to do any of it. I'm just, I'm just, you know, giving my opinion on the courses. Data structures and algorithms one and two. These are a little bit hard because, um, for example, like even especially data structures and algorithms two, you have to like know a lot of things before you can even begin to work on the class. Uh, so you have to at least know how to program in Python. You have to understand like time and space complexity. You have to understand big O notation inside of here. You have to be able to like implement your own algorithms. You have to implement a hashing function. You have to implement a pathfinding algorithm. It's just a little bit hard. And if you're like brand new to programming, it's like, you know, it's a bit of a learning curve to like be able to overcome those things. You can do it. It just takes time. Calculus. Calculus itself isn't really that difficult. The thing that makes it hard it has like and next we have calculus to even be able to start working on calc calculus you have to have like arithmetic down algebra trigonometry geometry those basic pre-calculus things like graphing and whatnot you have to have those down like pretty at least mediocre level to even begin working on calculus this calculus is actually like really manageable if you take it through straighter line first and then transfer it into wgu I actually made a video on this so check that out if you're interested in the computer science program just calculus math you know a lot of people don't deal with math that well including myself i I had to really like brute force my way through it. It's quite, it's quite uh, taxing on the old brain. And then this computer architecture class, again, pretty difficult. There's some uh, assembly language in here. It looks pretty foreign if you haven't looked at it before. A lot of kind of complex new topics that can tend to be difficult if you haven't been exposed to them yet. But yeah, this class is pretty hard. All of these classes in red, relatively hard. That's why I kind of categorize computer science at number one in terms of difficulty. And next on our list is software development. This is number two. Technically, this can be tied with the network operations and security course. It just depends on your personality and what kind of person you are. If, you, if you're more interested in coding or you have some coding experience, this one will be less difficult. But if you're like absolutely adverse to coding, you don't want to code, then this one will be less difficult. I just put software dev number two because it tends to make the most sense to me. Pretty much the same. It's the exact same thing almost as computer science, except for it has CompTIA A plus um, instead of ITIL. Same things here, software one or two, a little bit hard, quite hard if you haven't done programming before. Data structures and algos one, pretty hard if you haven't done programming before. But other than that, you know, if you've done programming and you, you have like a pretty solid like grasp on programming, this 
this this degree like won't be that bad but if you're brand new it'll be difficult it just won't be quite as hard as computer science if, if that makes sense there's other programming courses in this software dev de degree i just didn't include them because i don't feel they're quite as difficult as uh, software one and two and next one the network operations security this one bunch of third-party certs a bunch of comptia certs linux aws cloud and these two in particular are quite hard in my opinion like ccna is probably the hardest cert like more so out of any other cert in the wgu universe which is why it comes directly after the development degrees it's possible that this degree it's possible that this cert alone will take somebody like six months to complete so i, I feel i kind of feel it's weird that it's part of you know the degree program when like one term is six months i made a video on this degree you can check that out if you want i kind of recommended pre-studying this certificate before even enrolling in the degree just so you can kind of have some of it out of the way this is quite hard and i heard the the sysops admin uh cert is quite difficult as well i haven't taken this but that's just what i've read um in the comments here on my channel and on uh reddit as well next we have cybersecurity information assurance in my opinion like these two can potentially tie in in terms of difficulty it just kind of depends on what you find more interesting but again whole bunch of comp ts certs cybersecurity analysts this cert's pretty cool kind of teaches you the basics of working in a SOC as a security analyst pen test kind of basics of offensive security offered by comptia and these two certs sscp and ccsp offered by isc squared um i haven't taken either one of these i've taken um cissp offered by isc squared that was quite hard to be honest that was quite hard for me and i've heard CS ccsp is like pretty hard as well which is why i colored it red so yeah that's a cybersecurity information assurance degree really nice degree um a lot of these a lot of the certs in here are stackable so for example if you get like a plus network plus security plus you'll also get like another certificate from comptia that kind of is like a stackable one like if you achieve these three you unlock a fourth cert like kind of thing so there's like a few of those stackable certs in here um pretty good de degree pretty marketable it's a, a fun degree overall in my opinion uh cloud computing i i also made a, a video on this degree program as well it, it's quite similar to uh netop sec actually except for instead of uh lpi or except that it has cloud plus here and then it doesn't have ccna so definitely this one's easier than netops possibly tie with cybersecurity. Um, but yeah cloud computing check out my video on that one if you're interested in it but that kind of earns its place here as as number e or fifth place the fifth most difficult one uh next one is the it general degree you can see this is like almost exactly the same as the cloud computing degree it doesn't have cloud plus and it doesn't have the sysops admin instead if you kind of if you explore this the it general degree you'll see that it has like much more general courses that are not necessarily it related as you know it makes sense it's the it general degree it's quite it's not super easy but it's easy compared to like you know the dev degrees and like some of these more difficult ones up here it's kind of a nice middle ground if you want to get into it and you want to get some certificates but you don't exactly know what you want to do but you don't and you don't want something like too difficult at the same time it's a pretty nice one nice one to go with data management uh, out of all the it degrees with certs this one has the least amount of certs obviously as you can see really basic ones a plus network plus project plus ciw data analyst and then a bunch of kind of uh, there's a, a few more data courses mixed in here i think there's an advanced data management course um it, i almost put it on here as being difficult but it wasn't that hard for me to be honest um especially compared to like some of these these ones here so that's data management four certificates rest are in-house classes from wgu and then the absolute most easy degree is the bachelor's of science in it management for somebody who just wants to get a bachelor's degree they just want to get it and like get it out of the way i i highly recommend people to do this degree not that it's like necessarily like easy per se but it's easier compared to these other degrees offered by wgu uh, still being like a bachelor's of science in, in it technically it's part of the school of business but it's still bachelor's of science in it management a lot of the time like i, I recommend i recommend people like okay like you can get this degree even though it doesn't have any certs in it just get this degree bang it out quickly and then you can go through and like pick the certs that you want afterwards and kind of just do these on your own accord after you graduate if that makes sense so yeah that's my breakdown on degrees most difficult to easiest uh let me know what you think in the comments i feel like some people might be like like mad about my opinion for some of these i don't know it's just my opinion so you know don't, don't take it as like truth or fact or anything this is just kind of how i i view these degrees but yeah that is my
my review on the WGU bachelor's degrees, most difficult to most easy. I feel I might have wrestled some jimmies. So sorry if so, this video is just completely my opinion. Of course, if you disagree with any of this, like absolutely let me know in the comments. Absolutely let me know if I left any like certs out or I made a mistake or anything like this. Definitely gonna read and respond to all those. If I made a big enough mistake, I'll, I'll go ahead and pin it. So yeah, watch out for those. So yeah, just let me know. If you like this video or my content in general, please consider liking and subscribing, ringing the notification bell. Really appreciate it a lot. I also have a Patreon if you feel like supporting me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.